Okay, hope you're having a good evening. So, it is what, 7.30pm here? Uh, I thought I'd make a little quick, uh, I want to make a little anatomy um, scene, interactive scene in Ventus. So I just downloaded this kind of brain model in um, from Sketchfab, um, it's by this guy. Um, and you can, you know, you can download it a different body part, or it could be a whole skeleton, it could be a whole human. Up to you. I'm just gonna do it, and I want to do this that caveat so you can um, drag some bars and you know, do a little scan, scan on it. Um, so let's jump into it. So, what you want to do is download like a GLTF model, it's probably easiest because it comes with all the materials, and just drag and drop it in. I've already re downloaded, already downloaded this, so I'm gonna do this. Jump to Ventus, boom. Now Ventus ready, there's a scene, and what I'm going to do is just drag my GLTF C, um, brain that I've downloaded into my scene. And you can see there's my the brain that I've got. And what I'm going to do is just, you can choose to, you can leave it as this if you like, or you can choose to clean this up. Um, so I'm just going to clean this up. I'll just delete these axes. Uh, so I just have one axis now, reset this to zero. You can reset, like, instead of having all these set to 0 0.01, you can just put this in the scale all and reset all of these back to 111. And then all I have to do is now just scale this to how I like it. Do the scale all factor instead. Now, the, um, I'm not, I don't like the, the way the speculars on this, so they got some, the way, depending on how the textures are, uh, applied to this. You might want to remove some, depends on what model you use or what you're using, but I'm going to delete this specular. And I'm just going to click here where it says specular power from roughness. I'm going to just uncheck this. And then I can control like the specular here and just like break it down a bit. So this grey is fine. I don't want it too shiny. Anyway, so once you're happy with that, I like, I'm happy with this. Uh, you know, it's just a simple model. All you can do is drop in a light. So if you go to your light tab, you can like get directional light. Just place it in front. You can light light this up how you like um, the model. You know, you can move it around. I'm gonna do something like this, Maybe like this angle. And then what I'm gonna do is just add a point like underneath, and I want it like a little blue spotlight or some not a spotlight, but just a point like. Yeah. Just add a little bit of blue to my blue there. So I'm just going to turn this color to blue. Specular to blue. I'll turn the non render show non render objects on. So this little cone up here. You can see now you can see the what the where the point light is. If I change the range of that point, you can see how much it's reaching out. Um I'm gonna break this down and increase that gain. Something like this, just just adds a little bit, you know. You can even bring it forward a tiny bit if you want to get a bit more of the front of the of the brain. Anyway, and as you can see, as I rotate it, you know, kind of lights it up and looks kind of cool. Okay, so I can turn this non-render show non-render objects off. So, uh, you can see, it's so rotating the y-axis now. So, okay, so what we're going to do with this? Well, what we're going to do is I want to have another brain. So, I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to duplicate the, I'm going to add, actually I'm going to duplicate the axis, just the axis on its own, like this. I'm going to make an instance of this existing mesh. You can, you can duplicate and just have another brain like this, but, but then say I want to like load, just change out the model, um, I'll rather have it as an instance, so then I'll just change one and it will just update in the other one, you know, so I can just load a different object in. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna to go to color materials. I'm gonna just drop in the material on here on the brain and where it says base color, let's change it to fong or it can be low no let's just do fong for now. Um I'm gonna do is add a texture with base and alpha. And under the loader, I wanna choose texture property loader, sorry, and we wanna choose a circle, a circular texture like. Uh, I'll go for like this. Now, in a second, we'll fix this in a second. You'll see what we're doing in a second. So, under the draw mode, the little squiggly line, in your properties, I'm going to change that to sprite. 
Okay, now you won't see anything. It's really hard to see. So what I'm gonna do is just for now we're gonna temporarily block the the this brain, the first brain. So Control B will block this, or you can or you can use the little arrow up here block. Or you can see it says Control B to block. Anyway, um, and you can see just the, I don't know how easy it is to see, but there points are there. They're really small. So on the scale of the sprites. Scale this up as you can see as I start to scale it up it becomes more visible and there's the brain. Now if we rotate so what we do is we don't wanna so if I unblock this now, unblock the brain, you can see they're both there. But I don't wanna, you know, have to rotate two individual ones. So I'm gonna just get an axis and place these in front so they're pairing into this. Now all I have to do is rotate this one, you know. And I can move both of them together. So the parent is this. Okay. Um I'll just unblock I'll just block this for now as you can see. Anyway, we'll focus on this this um sprite version of the brain for now. So I'm gonna click back on the standard material. Under the base color, you can add a you can add the color to it. So you can see if I change this now and add it and you know I'll get this kind of cool cool effect. Um, and well, I'm going to just rotate this and see how it looks. Again, I can scale up the whole entire brain, so if I scale these up together, this, yeah, and we can now go back in here, click, change the sprite size, whatever you like. Anyway, I I like the look of this. Again, you can play. There's no there's no rules to this. If you don't want the 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 light to affect the points as much you can change this to something like no light and then it just becomes like a solid it's really just solid color there's no nothing affecting it i kind of like the way the light's hitting that and affecting the points a bit um i mean i don't know what will happen if i added a rim light on there but we can try like add a uh, blue um and see what happens and play around with the game and the power, you know, you can play around with that, but yeah, get you might get a cool, cool effect here. I'll just combine some of these colors. Maybe purple, purplish. There we go. So we're gonna get this kind of cool effect, and as I rotate this, you know, it just looks kind of cool. Now, what I do want to do is have some movement in this, so I'm gonna click here, add another material stage. To it and I'm gonna do something like turning noise. Now if I change the amount you can see it starts to push all the points out which is kind of cool alright so you can you know you can change this the 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 up to and the amount and you know you can play around with how much how much it pushing it out and then reduce the scale. It's up to you what you do um if you want to make it look like you know some crazy data but i want, i think i want to try to keep the shape as as much as possible um i'm gonna just play around with this so i want to keep the shape but i just want it to like ripple almost so you just play around with your values here so now if i drag this animate you can see it's kind of moving i mean i like that actually what i could do is instead did is duplicate this again so I have a duplicate duplicate of this on the this one I'll remove it remove the pearly noise so it still keeps its shape and then this one which will you know have the noise and the animation actually we can increase this amount now and and this scale push this out a bit so and perhaps we put the opacity down a tiny bit. Go. And I was on the actual axis of the this brain, so on the I'll just call this points uh or moving uh moving point. So this is just the moving I'll just call it moving, so this is the I know this is the moving points. Um I'm gonna just scale this up slightly bigger or something, you know. And of course, we can change the color so it's like else. I'm not 
for that. I like this. This one looking cool. And perhaps I'm going to add more opacity on that. Two one. Oh, see it. I can see it happening there. That looks kind of cool. Anyway, let's rotate this. Oh, this looks kind of cool. <clears throat> now I don't want to spend forever on this. I don't know how easy, how much you can see of it on the, you know, with the YouTube encoding, but it looks really cool here on my monitor. Anyway, I'm going to click on the Perlin noise here, and where it says animate, I want this animation to rotate. So I'm going to just click on the little squiggly line next to the values of animate here. I'm going to choose like linear 360 clockwise, and I'm going to pop this mover out so we can see it. And I'll just change the duration. So I'll slow it down. So we can start with lack of higher value. I'll say 30 seconds. Okay, it's not slow enough. So I'll say, okay, 50 seconds. Still not slow enough. Okay, let's go into three digits. So let's say 120 seconds. You know, okay, 240. Let's try 500. Let's say 600. Now I'm just going to do it until I'm happy with what I like and what. What I'm looking for, I'm going to try 1200. That looks okay. There we go. So I went for a really high, of, you know, really, you can even go in 1500. So you can see it's slowing down, but there we go. It's looking cool. I like the look of that. I've got this kind of cool hologram brain looking effect, you know, and the, and because we've got this point light, you know, see we can affect it and make this kind of cool, you know. Can do this cool scanning effect by just moving that point light on those, but I'll leave it at the bottom for now. But yeah, we've got this cool point light anyway. Back to what we'll do. So I'm gonna unblock this brain now, the top one that, we, that was hidden. And what we're gonna do is have the ability to, to say we have a slider, we want to like scrub this and we want to reveal the brain, but or reveal the hologram. So I'll show either, either half or half. So so, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need an axis. I'm going to drop an axis in here. Okay. And we're going to we're gonna need two axes. So, I'm going to just duplicate this. So, we've got two. Okay. We've got two. And we're going to go to our render options. And we're going to use clip planes. Okay. So, we've got clip plane A. And then this one will be B. Right now, it's called A. But we'll change this filter here. So, say B. Okay. So, you've got A and B. You'll see it here, it's already clipping, clipping the, the thing, the, the object in the brain. If you move these, you can see, as I move them, it's, it's revealing, it's because it's just automatic doing that. But what we're going to do is apply a filter to it. <coughs> so I'll say filter, clip plane filter, and I'll say, okay, I want the brain to be uh, clip plane filter A. And the the points will be a fil have a filter of clip clip plane filter B. So I'll change the clip filter options here. Select B. You can say use clip plane. We can not check it and check it. Um. Anyway, what I'm do is change the um the direction of the axis on the plane. So uh, right now I have X like so, and on B, I want to rotate this, so it's the other way, minus 180, okay, so B is, so now you're passing both sides, so if I move this, for example, the X, because I'll change it both to the X, yeah, um, let me uncheck, use clip plane, and use clip plane, so uncheck these, and if I just move these, there we go, so now, as you can see, if I move the, if I turn wireframe on, it'll be easier to see it with a, if I put a geometry so you, you can see actual what the clip plane, like the direction of the clip plane. So if I just pl place a, I'll just place a rectangle here, for example, and here. So you can see this is the rectangle. Um, well, I'll just reset everything. And then I'll add this one. There we go. This one and this one. Oh, is it my rotation here? Let me reset the rotation. Okay. 
So right now it's on the X and the X. So these rotations here, it doesn't matter, but it's just so you can see the bounding box. But as you see, as I drag, you can see the plane here. But as you see, as I drag it, you can see this is what it's doing. It's just the, it's just an invisible clipping plate just to reveal the mask. Um, I'm going to delete these because we don't need to see them. But it's just to show you, just to show you that it's there. Anyway, and on the, so on B, I want to show the other. Minus 180. Minus 180, no, there we go. Now we've got half and half. Right. And as I move the X, you can see now, we're going to rotate it halfway. So it's like you can have a dice, uh, like a dissection, and then you could have, like you know, annotate different parts. I just don't know if I'm off, but you can annotate different wire part, um, parts of the brain if you wanted, you know, or you could animate highlight certain sections if you had different parts of the brain model, like the lobe, the front and frontal lobe, and you wanted to highlight that and and it glow. For example, uh, I'll just put a sphere in this place. For example, I'll just place a sphere. Uh, I'll just put this and say say this was one part of the brain that I'm highlighting, you know, as I revealed it, and then this was a core. It doesn't matter what it is, what I put material, but I could say okay, I'm highlighting talking about this section as I revealed that part of the brain. Oh, I've got a headache right here, and it's throbbing. Boom, 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 boom. You know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Uh, I'm kind of going off topic anyway, so there you go, so that's, we've got this kind of cool, cool effect with thing, but now we want to make it interactive, right now it's not interactive, just click, click on the window, window, you can't do anything with it, can you? we can't, we can't, we can't control this, um, apart from using these nodes, so this is pretty straightforward, and we can do this really fast and simple, so, what we're going to do is simply go to our interaction tab and the first thing we're going to do is use our touch rotation node and we're going to place this on our main axis up here right at the top just in, I'm going to place it in front of the whole group so now if I drag it you'll see so you know might go it's gonna wonky right now the axis point is right here but that's fine we're not gonna we're not be rotating it on this axis we're not rotating it on the Z axis so if you look at the properties of the touch rotation, here where it says input mapping axis, we want to change this to the Y because we want to rotate on the Y axis. And on the mode, I'm going to turn this to off axis. This just makes it you know, a lot easier to, to rotate. And there we go. So now you have an interactive brain model. Uh, it could be a skeleton. Imagine this could be the whole skeleton. So you could have layers and turn off the skeleton or turn off the skull, reveal the brain. and that whatever show the nervous system nervous system it's up to you you can make the whole hard and everything but i'm just showing you the idea anyway so now this is an interactive model that you can you know rotate if you did want to like say pinch zoom and like into areas you could use the touch transformation um right now i don't have a touch tree i'm just using it with the mouse but yeah you can use the touch transformation here um which is to scale up like pinch zoom and stuff like this and rotate as well and move and drag stuff so you could if i just drag this here for example right now this only does rotation i'll just press ctrl a to disable this but now i can move this on along the screen um you know and i can uh what's it pinch zoom so i could zoom into the model but then you'd have to have another kind of object to do the rotation because this is just a position like x y and z x um x and y right now so but you can if you want um do pinch zoom as well anyway i'll take this off for now we'll stick to just this rotation cool so next we're going to do is create a slider and get axis so this is our axis and we're going to put a little slider simple slider at the bottom and we're going to use a rounded rectangle Scale this rectangle on the X, on size X. I'm going to move this down. Now we won't see it because probably there's no 
the material and the lighting is in the scene. So if I go to color, solid color, so my X position is there. Oh, so that's my problem. So right now the clipping planes are affecting anything else in the scene. So what I'm gonna do just use the render options filter. And I'm gonna just use a clipping filter on this. And I'll just say C something and then turn this off. It should or is it B? There we go. So now let's go back it's back down. I believe it should should be A B C Very strange. Normally, it should just, I don't want that to affect that, so I want this to be affected, but nothing else. Um, okay, that's not a problem. I'll delete this. We'll just do a new layer for now. Um, my brain is not working right now, but I'll, I'll work around it. So, I'll do just do a new 3D layer standard. So, this is our brain layer one brain. And layer two will be our UI. Okay. And layer two, I'm going to use an axis. So you go world well tab, axis, geometry. I use a rounded rectangle. I'm going to scale the X. So how much I want to, you know, scroll this. I'm going to increase the uh, round size and position this down. And like this. And this is just our bar. This is just a you know, it's just a graphic. It's not a it's nothing fancy. You can you can design this however you like. I'm just gonna put solid color on there and the opacity down and make it like a tint of blue, whatever you like. Does it there's there's no rule to how you design that. I'm not gonna spend too much time designing this. Anyway, and what I wanna do is add another axis and geometry tab. I'm going to add a circle. Now I'm going to bring this position down on the Y so it sits on the bar and scale it up. Yeah, and I want this to be the interactive part. So this is what we're going to slide on, and this is what we're going to lock it to. So it's going to lock on this bar. So we're going to just use the touch, touch translation. So under the interaction, we're going to get touch translation. Okay, right, we're going to drop this on in front of our on our circle. So right now, if I go and drag it up, it gives me the ability to move it X and Y on the screen. However, we want to set some bounding limits and boundings on this. So we're going to do say limit, so activate the limit. Right now, it can only move like this much. So I don't want it to move at all in the Y. So I'm going to say minimum Y zero and the maximum Y zero. Okay, so now it cannot move anymore on the on the uh, y axis, it can only move on the x. As you can see, it's only moving by minus one and one. So if I increase the minus one value and I drag this, uh, just kind of drag this again, you can see if I do say minus, I'll just do minus 15 on here. So it can go to minus 15 and to zero, or which is one, actually one, which is there. But we wanted to minus 15 to 15. For example, depending on what the scale of your value of your slider that you've created, and now you can see we've got this full slider, and it's you know doing what we want. However, you, as you can see in the output, the output will just give us minus fifteen to fifteen. However, when we rotate the brain on the on our brain layer, we want it to do a three hundred and sixty zero to three hundred and sixty because we're rotating it. So what we can do is use a clipping node. So if you go into your logic tab and you go look for maths effects, what we want to do is using the clipping node here. Mm -hmm. We'll just drag a clipping node into that. And we know our input will be minimum is minus 15 and our max will be 15, right? So that's what we're saying our input is our x position. Of this, so as I drag this in, you can see we get we put input in minus fifteen, which is our minimum, and our maximum is fifteen. Right? And we want the output. Either we can control the rotation, 
So we can say this slider can, can rotate this object, or we could say we want to rotate this um, slice to reveal how much of this um, hologram. So right now this is already interactive, so I can rotate this with the mouse. So what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to use this slider to do the reveal of this brain. So right now it's saying I'm going from zero to one. So what I can do is actually go maybe go to my brain scene, and if I click on my clipping plane, so these the these axis of the um, of the X, and I say okay, well I want to reveal the brain, and I say oh, I want to go from minus eight, the minus say let's say minus eight, round it up to minus eight in here, so minus eight, and then if I drag it the all the way the other way, so we eight minus eight to eight, okay. I'm gonna go here back into my other UI scene. So we know that this is going to be minus 8 to 8. And now what I want to do is output this value. Expose this value up here into this layer. And you can see my layer. I've got the, the clipping value here of 8, which is this. As I drag this, you can see now I can expose this layer. So now in here, what I want to do is actually... I want to put the value of uh, my x position. So I'm going to just have a. I'm going to use a float for this one, and I'm going to use uh, what's it called? Uh, let's just call this clip. Okay, clip. And what we want to do is expose this clip. So we're going to link these two layers together, and the x position will take whatever this clip is receiving so as you can see now the clip value is feeding both axes cool and I'm gonna select shift select both of my layers as you can see I've got the clip here that's the that's for, that's outputted from my slider and my input of the clip so I'm gonna drag the input of the clip to my output and I'll say I want the clip value and now as I drag this we now reveal the brain and you know we can like look at the model and view it at different parts and reveal it which is kind of cool right simple nothing too complicated but you know i just want to give you an idea of you know what you can do and hopefully it's easy to understand um yeah but you can go and build on this hopefully this was a simple tutorial it wasn't um I don't want to spend too much time on it, but yeah, so you can like dissect it, have a hologram effect, you know, you can add multiple effects on there, so you can, you know, you could, instead of that being such a sharp thing, you can have another layer where it softens it, or you could, you can control a gradient instead of a uh, clipping, so you could use alphas to reveal it, like, I don't know, make it a bit more softer, but entirely up to you, and add like an edge, like a glow to that edge as it reveals. Um, or you could have a third third brain with a different glow. So, if I, for example, if I go back to that brain layer, uh, duplicate this again. And there's material. I'm just gonna remove this uh, this existing material. Uh, drop a material on there. Boom. I'm gonna say stage. I wanna use room lighting. Uh, blue. Uh, base color. Form. Turn this to black. Uh, change this. Uh, right now I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, but you you can build layers upon layers. Uh, simple. I don't know. Screen. Uh, I want it in. I don't want it in clip A, so I want it say B, for example. I can put it in this one. There you go. So you know you could you can you can stack these effects. You don't you, you don't need to, or stack these layers or stack the. It doesn't have to be built a specific way. You know. It's, um, so now I'm revealing a different part of it. You know, different color, so on, so on, so on. You know, you know. Specular. I'm just kind of playing around until I'm happy with what I like. Play around with the game or the power. 
Okay. This. There we go. As you can see, you know, you get this cool effect. Uh, and you can build upon that as well. So anyway, hopefully this was useful. Um, you know, it gives you an idea like the cool effects you can do. You know, create this kind of sci-fi brain. I don't know how easy it is to see on stream. If I was make this slightly bigger, I don't know how easy you can see those points. But there are a lot of points on there. Um, yeah, that's my halfway. I like it like this, but yeah, of course you can limit this as well. So if you wanted to only say limit that output, so if I say okay, well, I want to go from I don't want to reveal the whole brain, but I want to just do it up to like the halfway point, which is if I click on that right now, I'm getting say about this just says zero. So if I go back here, go to my clipping, and then I can say, well, my output here, I want to just do. You know, zero. Oh, minus zero point zero. Is it zero point zero? I don't know what it was, but and we we'll go. Okay, I'll go here. Which is minus eight. Uh, which is zero. There we go. So now I can say, oh, it only reveals half the brain. There we go. So it's up to you what you when you change your values and what you output and how much you want to show. But I, I kind of like that. I'm happy with this. You can spend time, you know, working on your hard and your UI. This is very very basic and you know nothing. There's nothing fancy about this hard. Uh, but it's just showing you the you know, um, just some of the simple simple things you can do with it. You know, create these cool effects and make it interactive. Uh, again, I can change this clipping mode here um, and reduce this. I'll say, let's just say, minus here, Go, so it's, it's better on there. And again, I'll just change this to 14. So I'll just update in these values. Said so there's no rules into how you create this, but yeah. Have a play, it'll be cool. You know, share what you create. I'll, I'll, if you want to post it in, in the comments, link to to what you make, you know, be cool to see what other people do. If this is a, any use to you, if it's helpful or not, you know, it's just nice to know. Um, if it was any help to anyone that's learning Ventus or you need new to it, but yeah. Anyway, enjoy your evening. Morning, night or day. Bye bye wherever you are in the world.